click on bell icon. Click on subscribe button. Life cycle of silkworm. The female lays about 300 to 400 eggs in clusters upon mulberry leaves. Egg laying is completed in 1 to 24 hours. This egg laying process is completed within 1 to 24 hours. The female dies 3 to 4 days after laying eggs. Egg hatches into larva in 10 to 12 days. In larval stage, a silkworm passes through five instars or five different stages. Silkworms feed voraciously on mulberry leaves. They eat a lot and grow rapidly at this stage. So, this stage is also known as active feeding stage. In fifth and star, silco worm starts forming a case around its body. The outer case is also known as cocoon. It is the raw material to obtain silk. After cocoon is formed the cocoons are boiled in hot water to obtain silk. It is done to kill the caterpillar inside and get the silk. If the cocoons are allowed to live then the stage is known as pupa. It is the most passive stage in the life cycle of silkworm. It is the most inactive stage in which the body is covered inside a case. The body protected in cocoon undergoes an important change called metamorphosis. After metamorphosis the pupa changes into an adult imago and comes out of the pupurium. In this way the life cycle of silkworm completes in about 45 to 50 days. The life cycle continues as the female mates and again lay eggs. Silkworm mainly are of two types. Airy silkworm whose scientific name is Bombyx mori and Seri silkworm, also known as Mulberry silkworm, whose scientific name is Atticus ricini. Seri silkworm, which is also known as Mulberry silkworm feeds on mulberry leaves, Airy silkworm, whose scientific name is Bombyx mori feeds on castor leaves silkworms are very essential organisms they are the source of high quality durable and elastic silk and fibers they are also the source of income for farmers and also the economy of a nation Rearing silkworms commercially to produce silk thread in a large scale is termed as sericulture. It is the source for extracting natural silk.
to obtain silk from the hard case known as cocoons. Those cocoons are boiled in hot water so that the pupa inside pupariam dies. Silk production in small scale. Silk production in large scale or industrial scale. After the silk thread is obtained from silkworm, then the industries manufacture clothes from those threads. So, we can now say that silkworms are so essential that even our clothes are made from them. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Also if you have any queries just comment down below. Press the bell icon to get notifications for every new updated video. Hit the subscribe button.